everybody welcome back to land sharks garage got things cleaned up for put in our winter project talked about doing a toolbox tour at one time so we're gonna walk through what we have in our little shop here all the stuff on the floor is i'm getting ready to go pick up the camaro not sure what i'm gonna run into when i go pick it up so this is usually what i take well that the biggest tool right there but this is usually what we take when we go to retrieve something. It's a box of things you might need. Air compressor, battery, charger. Got my air on the wall. Most of my air fittings are there. These are some wrenches I bought at an auction. Um, they're snap-on wrenches. They've got to be for something specific. But I'm not really sure what it is. So they just hang here. I'm old tire tester from... Back in the circle track days. If anybody knows what these snap-on wrenches are for, let me know down in the comments. Appreciate that. I think it's for something to do with a John Deere tractor. Is what it was what someone told me that it's something to get to the starter bolts. Some chemicals there. So our wireless hookup sits up there with the stereo. One of my engine stands. Um, this is probably the most expensive one that I have but it's not my favorite it's really hard to get the cherry picker to come in here when it's on the you know when you have an engine on it so I, I very rarely use that I use that one over there more than anything my Hobart 140 welder great welder since I've got that I've got a Hobart plasma cutter that I'm borrowing that I use got some lights and stuff hanging on this cabinet this is my mostly my electrical cabinet so Tools that plug in, go in here, whether it be carpentry tools, metal tools, sanders, there's an oscillating saw in there, a jigsaw, <clears throat> there's a 22 powered framing, you know, like for putting nails into cement. I've got about six four inch angle grinders. I buy real cheap ones. There's a brand new one just waiting to take its place because I hate changing ends. So one's got a cutoff wheel, one's got a flap disc, one's got a uh, wire brush on it <clears throat> i've got a body hand a body saw back there a couple drills you don't use a lot of cordless tools and or corded tools anymore I, i've got a a sheet metal shears from back when we were building race cars that i use that quite a bit yet i've got a right angle drill in here that i use a lot there's a seven inch grinder up there most of the cutoff wheels grinding discs Saws all blades, it's all there. This is an electric die grinder with a aluminum carbide on it. I use it like when I'm if I'm porting intakes or something like that. We just put this bench in here. This used to be on the front wall. We moved it over to the side wall, and this is kind of where we are storing all of our body sanding equipment and brushes and tapes fillers full set of main bearings for some reason some valve cover hold downs are in there you know, wherever we can put space extra welding helmet this is just my swag section up here it's different stuff that i've gotten trophies that we've won spent a little time as a fire chief here the vacuum cleaner this cabinet i don't think it's really got anything in it yeah mostly small block chevy stuff all the little things that people are looking for oil filter ends harmonic balancer bolts proportioning valves distributor you know a lot of stuff that you just can't you don't see you don't you can't just walk in and buy <clears throat> this is mrs land sharks 350 sitting there we're going to tackle that shortly wheels and tires that are going to go on the camaro that i kind of just made into a table for now up here i have a pinstriping tool Dremel saw max, a mighty vac for bleeding brakes, which I, I'm not real fond of. Some crow's foot wrenches, a couple different flaring sets, bushing drivers, vacuum and compression testers, different pullers, dial indicators, and a vacuum leak detector, um, more bearing drivers, more pullers. And you never have enough pullers. A bunch of junk stuck in this corner that is rarely used. I got a tubing notcher for building roll bars that um, we haven't done that for a long time but we used to build our own roll cages and circle track cars 
Got an air nailer, PEX wrenches, levels. Got a buffer up in there. This is a desktop drill press that I use quite a bit. And all the drill bits and stuff, I try and keep them here. It's the LS motor out of the Tahoe that's sitting there. Just waiting to decide what I'm going to do. <clears throat> this is a 350A bot that hopefully is in still good shape. It, it appeared to be. I've got all my reference stuff up there. Otherwise, that's pretty empty. I'm not really even sure what's in here anymore. Oh, some sanding stuff, papers, some masks, heat gun. My body table sits there. This is my toolbox. It's a, it's a three and a half ton jack. I got a ton and a half jack. My tranny jack sits underneath the drill press. It's a 41 inch home back toolbox that I have. I don't, it's not neat. If you look at this thinking that you, if you have OCD, you're going to have problems because I put stuff where hopefully I can find it. My angle finder sits there. Headlamp. Magnetic. Trays. These little magnets. I have them all over the shop just to hold stuff. I'm big on having straight rulers. Um, got some vice grips here. I use them in body stuff. Some more vice grips up here. You'll see a lot of vice grips. Um, Scissors, that tool with the orange handle that's for taking off radiator hoses. We looked at that the other day. Got some of my DeWalt stuff hangs here. My grinder, drill, hex driver, flashlight up on top here. Tools for taking out fuel injection. Um, everything sitting to that magnet there has to do with adjusting valves on roller rockers, except for except for the starter shim here, I guess. Um, side mount buttons for shifters like the shifter that's in my 49 mounts through buttons in the side some adapters there <laughs> a spoke wrench in case I ever have to work on one of the grandkids uh, bikes got some stickers and a couple couple different calipers there hose cutoffs my long half inch drive breaker bar some of the tools some of the pin tools for my grinders are up there my butane torch um, I have a a butt ton of these extendable magnets I like them across the front here I try and keep my spark plug uh, gap checker right there so I, I'm not always looking for it you'll see I got a lot of tape measures um, along the side over here more vice grips I got a slim gym for opening cars I got a lineup punch some McPherson strut tools that's where I keep my funnels these are my kneeling pads I have horrible knees so I can't get down on the carpet probably has a lot to do with my stomach but uh, I use kneeling pads on everything up along there got a lot of my oils and stuff stored this is a cover for a carburetor that you can put on it and put your tools and stuff in you know it just sits over the top of the carburetor that's a mass up there more knee pads I like to buy these Ziploc bags when they're on sale so I can keep track of stuff when I take it out of cars it's a lifting plate for the carburetor to lift the motor so TV hangs there some hammers that hang along this wall got a real big helper hammer there another headlamp I don't know why I have so many headlamps sometimes when I lay underneath vehicles I like them um, we'll get into the box shortly this is my other box first box I had that's a 32 inch got these little trays on the side that got 100 foot tape measure in them snap lines for woodworking stuff I got these little tags that I can hang on things to mark them uh, pencil sharpener for pencils and stuff all my oil filter wrenches that I use this is a booster pack a small one that I take with me when we travel um, I've got a serpentine belt tool back there several crowbars and pry bars 
keep them back in there. I don't think I have anything else along that way. This is my electrical box. Um, we were using this the other day when when we did the Tahoe, and I just kind of keep anything that has to do with testing 12 volt in here. I've got test lights, jumper wires. Um, I got this. This is kind of cool. It's Oh, this battery's got enough charge to it. Let's see. So this grounds through you, through your body. So when you put it on a battery on the positive and touch the negative, it lights up. So when you're working on a vehicle and maybe probing fuses and stuff, all you gotta do is hold on to the vehicle and this will this will tell you if there's 12 volts there this is, it's 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 handy I, I use that a lot i've actually got a couple of them the digital voltage ohmmeter dvom in here i've got a 25 foot oh this is this is my loser switch for starting vehicles when there's no one around to turn the key i got this 10 foot retractable test lead kit this is my power check um, I was using that the other day to try to put power to the window regulator when we started having problems with it. So I try to keep that all in one place so that I'm not chasing all over. I love doing 12 volt electrical stuff. So I'm always getting different equipment that actually sits right up there in that empty spot. All right, let's get in this toolbox. Right down in front, I have a tray that holds quarter inch metric and standard sockets so they're right out there um, I use my Milwaukee gun driver for that so I like to have that real close I've got one of these for chamfering the end of a bolt if you have to cut it off it works really slick knife sharpeners different bits up here um, obviously this half inch drive crow's foot is for something that it's sitting out front there usually it's for something this is a glass drill bit I don't keep that with my other drill bits for drilling holes in porcelain and stuff like that um, like I said there's some knives up here my, my drop light this is kind of a bit drawer if you look at it I've got hex bits standard metric torx bits different things for the quarter inch driver eight point sockets are up here I don't have a lot of them same way with my clutch sockets for the old Chevys and stuff there was fasteners that had clutch ends on them I use them I got some nut drivers got some transfer screw sets um, this is for cleaning spark plug threads some spark plug feeler gauges and then this the rest of this is all extractors or reamers extractors um, broken bolt extractors the pound in type these are for taking off stripped out stuff it goes over the top so I keep all that in the top shelf so I know where it's at second drawer down this is mostly like gasket making chemicals battery stuff spark plug pullers thread tape electrical tape razor blades razor cutters like I said battery tools cable cutters everything's I try to get in that drawer if I ask for another toolbox I'll probably get killed so third drawer down this is all my socket or my ratchets and extensions I keep them separate well not kind of separate you'll see when we get down there but this is a t-handled quarter inch driver I got some real long got a breaker bar back there long extensions quarter inch extensions plus this I've got these ones that run off of this gear wrench screwdriver right here that you can you can change out the end in it and put longer ends and stuff in it that's really handy when you're especially like working under dashes and stuff and it ratchets so I leave that up there because it fits the bits but the extensions and stuff in here and there's an extension back here that's about two and a half foot long quarter inch drivers palm ratchet really handy um, 
three ace extensions and half inch extensions plus a three ace palm driver three ace ratchets these are not the ones i use they're the ones i have like i like this for this bent one for doing spark plugs and that's about it same way with this flex head um, i have a 100 tooth carlisle 3 8 drive ratchet that i just love that i use half inch drive i don't have a lot of stuff in there um i got three of them plus the one up on top here my wrenches not usually organized i just got done cleaning up from the last job so kind of put everything in here gear wrenches they're my favorite go-to and this is what isn't in that blue box that blue box has usually got tools in it all the time so a lot of times that's actually what i'm working out of when i'm working in the garage line wrenches very important to use them when you're working on lines you hear that in different places stubby gear wrenches flexes um, long open box end wrenches this is just a collection of open box end wrenches this is a micro set for real small like ignition stuff that you used to deal with open end socket end wrenches there's some cheap ones but i use them a lot one thing i did notice when i was cleaning this out is old gear wrench new gear wrench look at the difference in the meat that they put on that that must be the reason i love this one and hate this one because it's it's just unbelievable the extra metal that is on the the new one compared to the old one huh, i like them both i'm not a big fan of the straight gear wrenches anymore after the flex head the flexes get a little wore out but they're handy these are some open or box end both side both sides are box end small ones like for bleeder screws and stuff like that for us old guys that work on brake drum brake crap still this drawer is all phillips head screwdrivers extra ones this is a this is for holding screws see how it's got a end that turns so you can put a screw in it instead of instead of being magnetic i guess is is what i'm saying it, it, it's you load it and then the first time you turn it it, it, it unloads see it, it loads and then it unloads try and find a straight headed screw so when you put that in there and you turn this see it, it, it just it holds the screw so you can start it and then as you get it started all you gotta do is just turn it back quick and it, it unlocks and it, it works on both Phillips and regular I've got two of them I thought I lost one this is an older one it's got a little different look to it but it still does the same thing you get it locked in there and it, and it sits and holds it with pressure and then you can just start your screws they're kind of cool to have around there's a torque screwdriver in there for headlights this one's straight screwdrivers i got an impact screwdriver there micros for small stuff i've got a whole drawer full of screwdrivers those are just the ones i prefer to use files scrapers and picks just kind of all over in here depending on what you're looking for um I, like i said I, I keep stuff in the blue that little blue tote that i use the most this is my vehicle drawer flywheel turner timing light distributor wrench um, manifold spreaders we talked about them when we did the c10 these the gm manifolds that go under the spark plug when you take them loose they expand and uh, these handy dandy little devils you put them between the between the two ports like between number two and number four and then you you can straighten this tighten this up and it'll help you put the bolts in on the small blocks we've got an oil pressure gauge here that i use like when i'm priming this is my primer that a lot of guys just take a 
distributor apart and use it. I, I just happened to have one of these when I was doing a lot of motors. <laughs> That's my cam tool. It's just a hook eye. It's a seal installer for small block, or I'm sorry, turbo 350s. This is for cleaning piston rings. I have never used it, but it's cool, so it sits in here. I've got some ring compressors there. These are a little box of block offs, like so. You put them in the end of the push rod while the engine's running so it doesn't spray oil all over you. There's a compression tester in there. This is some gizmo for a Volkswagen that I bought at a thrift store just because it's cool. So I, I've never used that. It's just one of the things there's. Um, there's a shock tool here for replacing shocks. Goes over the bolt that holds the top. And you can loosen it up. Tool there for taking out power steering or taking off the plate down in the steering column so you can replace that bearing that's in there. Got a timing light there. There's a timing light up there. This is my socket drawer. Hang on, this is where things get ugly. So you have to know what you're looking for when you go into my socket drawer. Standard metric specialty stuff back there 12 point sockets here square sockets here flexes torques internal or external torques hex head that's just extended there's more torques um, oil sensor for for five threes i just got that some thin wall for putting on um, specialty wheels some specialty wheel sockets in here. You just gotta know what you're looking for when you're looking in my socket set. That my my mid three-quarter sockets are in that blue box. I have a set of metric and standard sockets in that blue box, just a rail of them. But there's a lot of times so this is quarter, three ace, half, quarter, three ace. I don't have a lot of half in metric, just just numbers that I need, like a 32. Um, there's some four-wheel drive sockets in here. There's some metric mixed in. I've got my favorite spark plug wrench is this one. I wish I had the one with the magnet in it, but this this works great. I have a real long spark plug socket there. Let's see. Now there's some hexes in the back that I use on different things, so I just have a rail with those on them. Like I said, 12 points. Once in a while you need to use a 12 point, otherwise I hate 12 point sockets. This is kind of my pliers and needle nose drawer. I've got a snap ring pliers. <laughs> i got a wrench for taking apart drains. Um, this is a lock ring. lock ring tool that's modified for Turbo 350. Side cutters. Regular pliers, hose clamp pliers, just kind of whatever you, whatever you need, specialty wise. Next drawer down, tin snips, there's a chain wrench underneath there, right here, a vice grip chain wrench, a few vice grips, needle nose, some channel locks, crescent wrenches, I hate using crescent wrenches, but there are times you need to do it. This drawer is all my body hammers. I've picked up throughout the years. Some are new. A lot of them I pick up at rummage sales and auctions. There's a couple. This is a snap-on. This one's proto. Um, you'll find that I have a lot of hammers. I like hammers. It's my air tool drawer. I think it a lot of use until I recently got a new air compressor. That makes a huge difference. These are carbides that I've picked up. Got a couple angle grinders, couple straight grinders, cutoff wheel, panel flanger, belt sander. Um, this is an air nibbler for sheet metal. You can eat sheet metal. Power hammer. These are all the attachments for the power hammer. Plus I've got a panel flanger for the power hammer. That's this piece right here. Attaches to the hammer. You can put a flange on it. We use that on the 3 plus 3. 
my air guns, I don't have a lot of them. Two half inch drives, three ace butterfly, three ace ingersoll, three ace ratchet. There's another air hammer here. My pipe wrenches and one big crescent wrench that I didn't have room for in the other drawer. This is my brush drawer. Mostly well what's in there, brushes, some files. These are real handy. You can put them in a hex driver and they're brass so you can clean out bores. Metric wrenches. Most of these are gear wrenches. Everything else is open box end or box end box end. Some of my other oil filters, seal pullers, valve spring compressors, extra screwdrivers slash pry bars. This is just kind of a miscellaneous drawer. There's tools in there for doing drum brakes, brake cylinder hones, dial indicator for doing rear ends, flaring tools, different hones. So mostly old brake stuff. This is kind of a catch-all drawer. It's got my torches in it, my map torches, and then this is just all extra ratchets in there. That's my main box. I'm not missing anything, I don't think. This one right here. I'm not the best side. Both of them, actually. My small box. Zip ties on top. Pencils. Ticonderoga pencils. <laughs> Plastic, all these little plastic um, pry tools for working on body equipment stuff. This is a sheet metal brake, a hand sheet metal brake. That's a wrench style sheet metal brake. These drawers are mostly body stuff, so this is windshield stuff. I don't know what the hell this is. This is cool though, isn't it? I don't know what it's for. I haven't, I haven't ever had anybody tell me what it is. Maybe you guys know. I can hold it out for a little while longer. So it's got a hook on it. It's got to be for starting something. Got a number on it, I could probably research it, but I picked it up with some other body tools I bought from a guy. So like jigglers for windshield trim and stuff. These are clamps for sheet metal, for welding. You just stick the sheet metal between the square box and the bottom box and tighten it up. It's kind of like a little, hey, they're handy, I use them. You, there's, they've got their own special spot. This is windshield for putting in Windshields like in my 49 you got to use a rope to put it in. There's a plumb bob in there uh, Different stuff for removing trim More windshield stuff a bunch of C clamps a lot of these C clamps have like Ready rod welded to them for for holding stuff up while you're you know, like if it's a long piece long piece of a, a, piece, a long piece that you're working on Boy, I made that sound easy to say Obviously they were put just right in there this is a hand nibbler. This is a tool for it's a hammer for doing trim work um, for separating the little plastic pain in the ass things that are in the newer vehicles. Contour gauges, several of them. This is a weld whacker for taking out spot welds, like on door trims and door skins and stuff like that. More stuff for removing handles. There's a little hammer there that's also for trim work. Not a handle, a hammer. Tap die set. Thread cleaning tools over there for cleaning up tools. You saw me use them when we did the 400. I went through and cleaned up all the threads before I put it in. Drivers for the tap. Special taps like that I knew I needed it for something. M22 by 1.5, so I got one. I can't remember what I used it on though. It was something dumb. Lineup punches, chisels, nail sets, cement chisels, kind of everything in there that's not already in the blue box. Spoons and dollies for body work. Hog ring pliers for doing it. Um, interior, putting seat covers and stuff on. Another one of my hammer drawers, regular, regular hammer, rubber one, this is a wooden mallet, 
plastic dead blow hammer with a brass end on it. This is a cementing hammer. Um, this is a teardrop mallet. Soft faced mallet. Next one down, these are mostly all dead blow hammers or plastic faced or brass. And then this drilling hammer. You can tell that's one of my favorites. It's all wrapped in black tape. Um, stud welder, slam hammers, air riveter, air rivets, everything to go with the stud welder. So you can you saw us using that on the box sides for the three plus three. If you didn't go back and watch it, because it's there. Torque wrenches, pickle forks, hand riveter. Um, a Klecko tool for for putting in Klecko's and, and the Klecko's that go with them. So you can drill a hole and hold the panel on temporarily. That's about it right there. Excuse me. Floor dry bucket. Gotta have that. Okay, grease guns, extra gloves, long clamps, all kinds of body clamps. I got a 36 inch sheet metal brake up there. Pretty cool Elmer Fudd hat. My grinder. I use this little Black & Decker Workmate a lot. Wood saws. Belt sander. My parts washers down here. Extra air tank. This plastic box is full of gauges. This is a gear ratchet set. The flow through ones you use occasionally. But the rest of it is for bending brake line and tubing. This is mostly just electrical stuff. Nuts and bolts. Up on top I got like AN fittings for days. A bore scope up there that doesn't work very well. I'd like to have a different one of them. Doesn't doesn't do what I want it to do. I got some panel haulers. Most of the junk that goes on a workbench my light that my son-in-law made for me some of my signs and so this is kind of where we charge our cordless tools and store them at I got the DeWalt and the Milwaukee set up there 14 inch chop saw my traveling carpenter's toolbox it's already got crap in it so I can just take off and go if I need to go work on a project um, air fittings carb stuff electrical stuff paints my air compressor five horse two stage put that in this spring wish i'd have bought one of them years ago that really makes a difference a lot of people aren't using the air tools they're using cordless tools but um in here it's a lot easier just to use the air tools so getting back in the flow of that i've got a router down in there a bunch of chemicals and crap stock cool old 22 a little bit of the juice there you go my favorite cart right here we use it all the time that's a little oh this is the milwaukee light that i haven't got put away yet that i got for christmas and my birthday that that's that's real cool like it this is this is our shop this is our junk hopefully you got any questions about stuff that i showed you today let me know once again we appreciate you guys following us. We really enjoy doing this. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when we're dropping a new video. Never forget, drive your shit. We'll see ya.